Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to convert shape files into DXF files. So in this case I have downloaded a free software called QGIS and I'm able to use the software to convert the shape files into DXF files. And I will add a link underneath this tutorial on YouTube where you can download the software. And in this case I have just opened the, the software and now I want to open the shape files. And to open the shape files I will click on this link up here or I can go to the layer ribbon and then select add vector layer. And in this case I want to select the shape files. And if I just go back one step, then these folders that I have right here, uh, these are the folders that are downloaded from the Danish website called Court Forsyning. And in this example I want to create a DXF files which will have all of the traffic layers, but you can also just create one cat file with all of the layers, but it, it's up to you how you want to uh, create the, the cat files. But if I open the traffic folder and now I want to select all of the shape files so if I hold down control I can select multiple files and now I want to click on open and say open to this and now we can see all of the traffic layers so these are the roads and this is the area of uh, Via University College and to convert them into a DXF file, I will go to the project ribbon and select DXF export. And in this case, I want to have a DXF file with all of the layers, so I will select all layers. So now it will select all of the layers that I have right here. And also you need to make sure that you select no symbol, because if you have a, or if you select the symbol, then you will have very thick lines and it, and it will not be possible to convert the lines into thin lines. So select no symbol and also we want to save the file. So I'll just give it a name and we can see that the file will be saved as a DXF file. So this is OK. So I will say save and OK to this. And if I open the folder we can now see that we have a DXF file with all of the traffic layers and I will show you in another tutorial on how you can open the DXF file in AutoCAD.